not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and also trust in me. There is more than enough room in my father's house. Would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you. So that you will always be with me where I am. That is my father's house in heaven. But here is my father's house on earth. Where God's children are trained and groomed in preparation for the heavenly home. In my father's kingdom, nothing evil will be allowed to enter, nor anyone who practices shameful idolatry and dishonesty, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life will make their abode there. God will wipe away all tears. No pain, no sorrow shall be mentioned there, my father's house in heaven. But here is my father's house on earth. But this house is full of uncleanness and impurities. So I surrendered myself as an atonement to cleanse my father's house. So that the purpose of the father might come to pass. I declare this service opened in the name of the father, and of the son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This does not mean that I'm going to leave the church or I won't come again. I will be in the church and I'll still be available uh, to serve you in whatever capacity. Uh, but God has not left us without a shepherd. And I'm pleased to tell you this morning that, you know, uh, we're going to have a new pastor, a new blood, a young man, and he's going to be in charge and he's going to be able to use his uh, youthfulness to help us in the service of the Lord. And please, church, join me in welcoming Pastor Nathaniel Cole and his family.
Shiggy? Yeah? Hello, Shiggy? Can you hear me? Why are you not in church today? What? I don't understand. Do you want to come down tonight in the evening so we can talk about it? What? Shiggy, you are joking, aren't you? Tell me you are joking. Seven o'clock tonight, if you're not in my place, then the old church is going to hear about it. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, choir. God bless you. God bless you, sister. God bless you, choir. That was wonderful. Ah, I am grateful to God for bringing my family and I here at this time. Uh, we serve a God that knows the times and the seasons. Um, when our senior pastor, Pastor Ben, came up here to talk about his retirement, and that is because there is a time and a season for everything under the heavens. You know, there was a time when Pastor Ben was started in the ministry. He was young, full of energy, full of passion, full of drive. And I have no doubt that Pastor Ben served God with everything he had. And just like Brother Paul said in his valedictory speech, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Brother Paul went on to say that there is a golden crown that lays await for him. And that the Lord, who is a righteous judge, will one day present that crown unto him. Now I have no doubt that there is a a golden crown waiting for Pastor Ben. And that one day the Lord will present that crown to him. Uh, but not yet. Because I believe that uh, Pastor Ben is going to live for many, many years to the glory of God. Now this morning I am going to speak to you about the love of God. Uh, you know, when the choir sang this morning, it touched me. And I believe that God is here to touch somebody. I believe God is here to encourage someone. The Bible in the book of Matthew 10, verse 31, God said, don't be afraid. You are what more than many sparrows. I want to let you know this morning that it doesn't matter what challenge you're going through. It doesn't matter how tall your Goliath is. It doesn't matter how high your mountain is. I want to let you know that God is saying to you that do not be afraid. For he has not given you the spirit of fear, but he has given you the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. God has engraved you into the palm of his hand. So brethren, I want to let you know that because of the love of God for you, he's saying to you that you should be encouraged this morning. That morning may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And as I close this morning, I want to bless you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. My father's house has the hold, the young, the innocent, the trickster, all come in different shapes, colors, sizes, a vast range of individuals, unique in every way. Question, you don't even talk to me. Oh. What cheese? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you.
Ah, you, are you okay? Unbelievable, you know. So is that venue okay? I'll let you decide. But call me when you're ready, okay? Alright, I'll see you later then. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us appreciate God in the life of uh, brother Nat and his wife, uh, who have just come to join us and is going to be our senior pastor. And, uh, you know, as I've told you earlier, uh, I've known him for quite a while, as I mentioned in the church. Uh, he's been yeah, a very versatile and diligent uh, person who's very passionate about this profession of uh, pastorage. And I actually uh, was one of his uh, lecturers you know, when he was at the seminary, and it was really great, you know, meeting him. He is very diligent, as I said, and he's, you know, ready to take call, you know, the job where he's been left. So in coordinating our services and other programs. So members, please let him feel welcome, and his wife, and kind kindly give him as much support as you, you, you need to give to him. Thank you very much. So, possibly we have some word to talk to us, but before then, if there's any one of you who have uh, something to say, a comment, or any question, please, brothers and sisters. Well, I have something to say. I'm just surprised because we were not aware that a new pastor was going to be brought in. What we heard is that the senior pastor would be appointed from those of us in the house. And again, that has always been the tradition. So, if you can just explain the reason behind this anomaly. Thank you, Sister Bumi. And I apologize for that feelings. Uh, but uh, as you know, I'm well aware that uh, before we appoint people into that uh, position, we normally take it to the Lord in prayer. And that's what we have done in, in the situation of uh, uh, Pastor Matt. So the assumption on ground is that, you know, when the former pastor was here, senior pastor was here, you know, I was uh, pastoring alongside with him. And when he went to the United, United States of America, I took over from him. So please, you know, do uh, not be annoyed for this situation and uh, let us work together let us cooperate and uh, ensure that you know the we have the progress of the work of god because this is what we need you know for the work of god to progress so and that is it so thank you uh, before the pastor speaks is there anybody who have another question thank you over to you Thank you, uh, Pastor Ben. Um, as we said earlier on today, we, we are very grateful that God has brought us here at this time. And um, I am convinced in my spirit that um, we are all going to have a good time in the service of God. Um, I don't want to talk much, um, but I just want you wonderful people to know that uh, my wife and myself, we are aware and we do recognize this place as our father's house. And we are prepared to work with every one of you to ensure that the will of God is done, not only in our lives as leaders, but in the lives of the congregation out there. So um, all I just want to say is thank you very much for welcoming us and um, God bless you. Thank you. 